Welcome to the Badass Babe Manifest podcast. The vibe here is how to manifest in a simple and fun way, implementing my abundance DNA method without the bullshit overcomplicated hacks or fluff. I'm your host, Kelly Pender, your spiritual manifestation coach, and together we're going to uncover your unique abundance frequency, step into who the fuck you are unapologetically, and remove the limitation caps as well as playing it small to open yourself the F up to the unlimited abundance success, and money to easily flow into your life and or business. Let's manifest that shit. Hello, my love. Welcome back to another episode of the Badass Babe Manifest podcast. I'm super excited for this episode. We have Tessa Schwal on the pod today. She's a brand designer and creativity coach. I have welcomed her back because she had an amazing, amazing breakthrough in her life and in her business. And what she was able to do inside Manifest That Shit University is she finally stopped trading time for money. She shares her story with us on how she was able to do this and how she had this I can only charge per hour mindset, meaning I need to work more. I need to do more. And because of this, I will not be able to see my business scale and my business expand because she felt trapped. She felt trapped in this box. She had logic limitation cap. She was operating in a Newtonian physics and she had some old lack neural pathways going on that we were able to remove and rewire. Her story and experience is amazing. You're going to love it because I know that so many of you feel this way in your life, in your career, in your business, we have been programmed and taught to believe that this is the only way of doing things. This is the only way that you're meant to run your business. This is the only way that you're meant to live and lead your life. And so what if there was another way? Another way where you could get your brain on board to embrace your own way, right? What you were born to, made to do in this lifetime, where you can access the unlimited abundance available to you that's always been there. We just forgot. We just forgot because we were so focused on living our lives, leading our businesses in a way that felt really hard and really heavy. So hearing her story is going to give you so many permission slips, so many light bulb moments. It is amazing. And before we fully dive in, I want to tell you something. The women who have already joined us inside MTSU, they have the same thoughts as you. They feel the same way as you. They have invested in other programs, other courses, worked with other coaches. They've done the work. They've done the journaling. They've done the meditations. They've done it all. And like you, feel like it's still not working. And I'm going to be so honest with you. I've had quite a few clients join MTSU who told me, Kelly, I don't know how I'm going to be able to afford this. I don't know if this is actually possible for me. I have had one client in particular who was scared to death to invest. Trust me, this is normal when you're about to invest in yourself. Fear is normal when you're about to change, when you're about to have any type of expansion or growth, right? And you get uncomfortable as fuck. Let me just say one thing real quickly. In order for you to grow and expand, discomfort is mandatory. It comes with the territory. It's a part of it. And if you keep avoiding that discomfort, you're avoiding your growth. You're avoiding your expansion and you're keeping yourself exactly where you are, right? So going back to this fear with one of my clients who was previously an MTSU, she told me, she's like, Kelly, listen, in the past, I've invested in things and then I had to pull out. I had to back out because life happened. Caring for my elder mother happened. This happened X, Y, and Z. And she's like, I'm so scared that that's going to happen again. And I heard her, I saw her, we talked about it, and she allowed herself to say yes to her true desires, even though she had those fears, even though it didn't work out in the past, even though she had to back out in the past of other programs and courses that she was in. And guess what? Within a month and a half, she generated in her small business that she kept calling it $70,000 just this summer from implementing the science backed techniques for receiving the coaching support inside the mastermind. And that was the most her business has ever generated. Due to the support, the science backed techniques that you will not find anywhere else in the manifestation and self development world, and the community in there of like minded women 
who feel the same way as you. So my love, make sure that you download the free course, Abundance Unleashed, and schedule a free abundance manifestation audit with me. There are no strings attached. There is no pressure. However, I want to see you win because I know you're meant for more. And on these audits, I give you personalized feedback rooted in science where I can tell you where you are cock blocking yourself, where your blind spots are when it comes to your subconscious, your energy, and your electromagnetic field. And then I give you feedback that you can implement right away and start to see results, whether you join MTSU or not. That link is in the show notes to schedule your abundance manifestation audit, or you can DM me the word audit and then instant access to my free course in the show notes as well. All right, my love, without further ado, let's dive into this episode with Tessa. Yay. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm so excited for this episode. We've had Tessa on the pod before. We love her. She's the aligned designer. And if you're new to my space and if you love the pod cover graphic, you know who did that. It's my girl, Tessa. Okay. So we're diving into your experience inside Manifest That Shit University, where you were, where you are now, all the magic that happened in between. And I'm just so excited to share this with everyone. So I kind of wanted to dive in with how you came into this program. Like, what was it that made you join? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So that, that was, I I remember the moment I remember connecting with you and, and messaging you because I mean, I see so many like manifestation courses and coaches and you know, we're just indulging all this content all the time and it all sounds so great. Um, but it can tend to sound kind of like fluffy and, um, you know, you, you want to make sure that you're really feeling pulled and aligned and like something is like a heck yes, you know, or a hell yes. Um, and that's kind of what I felt with, with you and the way that you were talking about this program, because, um, you know, you you speak about manifestation in such a way that it, it's different from everyone else. I I really believe where you're focused on the science and um you're really focused on you know what specifically is blocking people from their manifestations. And I think just that kind of like problem solving approach really like spoke to me. Um as well as you know the fact that yes, manifestation is a little woo woo, but you approach it from, from again, such like a scientific place where it really intrigued me. And I, I couldn't help, but like want to know more. And, um, I had also tried other, you know, courses and worked with other manifestation coaches. And, um, you know, it is a lot of like, a lot of like, like high vibes and all that kind of stuff. Right. And it's like, (laughs) And, and, you know, that, that's good for some people that, that gets you so far, but I really knew that I needed to go deeper and I needed to, um, really uh, address some things that were, were blocking me from being able to manifest the way that I wanted to. So. Yes. I love that. Okay. So you've tried the things before implemented, done the strategies. So I know that I speak with a lot of women before they come into my world who are like, girl, I've tried it all. I've done it all. I've done all the business strategy. I've done all of this. I've done whatever. And they were like, I don't think that anything will actually work for me. So Mm -hmm. I want to hear from you. Like now that you've gone through this program, I want to hear from you what you have tried or implemented before. Um, and Mm -hmm. what it was in this program that was like, this was fucking it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, you, you teach, um, uh, can I, can I talk about it specifically or is it like, yeah, please. So you, you teach about, um, neural energetic encoding, which I know you talk about too on on Mm -hmm. social media and the pod. So. Um, and I had tried and experienced, um, a similar technique called, um, time technique. However, what's different about you and, and your specific approach to the techniques is that 
you provide the support space, you know, beyond the technique. So not only is there, you know, the community and the, the space to to chat about and like ask you about anything that's coming coming up for us while we're going through this process and these learnings and, you know, <laughs> like reconditioning re everything that we know and like trying to kind of find our new way. Um, you know, you also provide the, the Q and A calls, which are just completely amazing. Like, I don't know what I, what I would have done without those along the way, because, um, really having, you know, having, having the tools and having the teachings and all of that, it's great. But what I've come to learn from being in this space for so long and trying so many different things is that it's really the integration where the magic is and the ability to fully absorb and like adapt after the learnings and the techniques. So um, I really appreciated that you've created this space in such a like complete way where you kind of cover all those bases. So that was really cool. Oh, I love that. I'm really happy that you said that because I, you know, like me too, for what, 11, 12 years now, I've gone through a lot of programs, a lot of courses. And as much as we love, you know, doing courses, it's like, I need the accountability and I need to go deeper, especially when we're talking about money, especially when we're talking about growth and expansion in your business, because we have so many emotions and unresolved, unprocessed emotions around money. And we have, mm -hmm. as humans, we have fear around expansion and fear around allowing our business to grow. And so coupling that with coaching is everything. So we can really just get to the root. And so I just want to hear like your experiencing with the, your experience with the coaching aspect and how that was maybe like different for you or how that allowed breakthroughs for you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, totally. So, um, I, I loved that, um, on, on the Q and A calls, you know, you would kind of like go through all the, all the, the girlies, all the students on the call. And, you know, you would just kind of ask us like, what's, what's happening, like what's coming up for you. And, um, it was really interesting to to see to witness other people and experience it like for myself how so many of the things that we're perceiving as like struggles and you know roadblocks in our business or in our life or whatever like so many of those things can be addressed through these same techniques and you know this the same like coaching and um, you know, just providing the space to openly explore that and, you know, ask the right questions and go deeper into whatever's coming up and then be able to really uncover that like root cause for whatever, you know, we were struggling with at the time. And um, some of the like light bulb aha moments, I know, like for myself and even like literally seeing them in the other girls, like, as we would go through these calls, it was just, it would give me chills, you know, we'd get emotional for each other. Mm -hmm. It was just like, such a truly magical and completely supportive space um, that uh, I, I really valued a lot. So thank you. Yes, I love that. Yeah. So you know that I'm the queen of going deep. And I'm the queen of <laughs> <laughs> of getting to the root to really uncover what's going on. Because what I've noticed is that a lot of things are very surface level, right? And so I don't like surface level. I don't like fluff. I don't like bullshit. And I don't like drinking the high vibe Kool-Aid. And so going deep and getting to the root is everything. And it's so interesting because I think as humans, we're like, <gasps> I'm afraid to go there or it's going to be really hard to get there. And you've witnessed it yourself on the calls. It's like, we can get to the root of what's going on in 30 seconds to like a few minutes. Yes. 
Yes. And something that's really cool about that too, is like the, the further we would, we would go through the program and the more we would learn and the more we would integrate and the more we would experience these tools and, you know, uncover things. It, it was almost like the quicker we could come upon that awareness, like ourselves too. So it was really cool to watch, like just all of our, you know, individual, but also collective like progress from call to call throughout, you know, the, our time together where um, we really like grew in so many more ways. So it's like, not only was it helping to, you know, get to the root cause and sort through the, the bullshit and, um, you know, find what's authentic and aligned for you and like what you want to create. Like, not only is it all of that, but it's also the, just the growth that I think I could speak for all of us and say that we all experienced in, um, you know, being able to really notice what's going on for us and how we can shift it to the point where by the end it was like, oh, thanks, Kelly. You know, like we, we got this, we kind of got this now. And it, it just, it's, it's really, it's really an awesome process because I feel like I personally grew a lot and I can now really I can recognize things when they're coming up for me and I know how to how to approach that I know how to make room for it and you know feel through it and then ultimately be able to like shift it and rewrite that story or whatever it is and um it just it really is like a practice like a muscle you have to work and you definitely help us do that in a big way through this mm -hmm. process I love that that's amazing and it's interesting because when you're going through it yourself, it's like, I know I have a quote unquote money block. I know I have a belief like deeply rooted in my subconscious. I need to pull it out so I can move forward. And it's like, okay, we try that on our own for what years and years and years and years. And so I want to talk to you about your um, belief that you were rewiring and your logic limitation cap that you had for years that we finally mm. removed. I want to hear about that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, as Kelly introduced me, um, I am a brand designer and more recently come into, um, coaching as well, which has been really fun. And I've been designing since, I mean, I've been an artist my whole life, basically, but um, ever since, you know, college when I was um, pursuing my major and um, picking up little like jobs here and there to build my portfolio, it was, it was always um, the, you know, the options for me as a, a freelancer at that time and since was always like, okay, am I charging by the hour? Am I exchanging time for money? Am I charging by the project? Like those were like cut and dry, like my options, right? Yeah. So it's either I, again, exchange time for money or I try to come up with a price for what I think the value will be of this project that I haven't even like fully grasped or understood yet. Um, and then offer an invoice with, with the pricing, right? So that kind of like, I, I teetered with that, you know, for how many years? 14, 15 years now. Um, and never really found my footing with it. I kind of always went back to corporate jobs because it just felt easier. Um, and then more recently coming into creating this business for myself, I was still kind of like playing with that idea and trying to figure out like, okay, I, I can charge this and I can explain it to people like, you know, this is the work that I'm doing. And what I, what I would always do is I would just, you know, I would, uh, over offer like extra things yeah. and, you know, work well beyond the hours that I said I was going to work and make sure that they had this incredible experience. And at the end of the day, I would feel almost like resentful about mm -hmm. this, this thing, about the design, the thing that I knew I loved, that I was really good at. Um, I was resenting the work because of that. Yep. And so um, 
I knew that there had to be a better way. And I, you know, worked through that with, with your program. And so, um, it was, it was really cool to not only like address the money block and, and, you know, fix all of that, but also I feel like there's, there's so many other underlying, um, you know, blocks or limiting beliefs that you work through in tandem with the money Mm -hmm. blocks. So like, for me, it was a lot about like worthiness and it was like, okay, am I, is it worth charging this? Am I worth charging this? Um, it was also, um, worthiness. What's, uh, what's just in my head? I'm sorry. It was also like, are they going to understand this? So like Mm -hmm. a huge, like, I don't know if it's a projector, like limiting belief of mine or, or, you know, black or whatever, um, that I'm becoming more aware of is like my need to be understood. So it's like, okay, if I under if I explain it like this, are they going to understand the value in that, you know? Um, and so it was, it, it, you know, all these things came up as we were exploring that through, through the, the progress with your program. And, um, And I don't know, it kind of like, I felt I could feel something building, I could, like, literally feel and see and like, I don't know, almost hear and taste and touch, I could almost like, I had it, like, I I knew it was there. I was like, what is this? Like, what is my solution? What is my way of charging people? Um, And then, you know, it, it hit me and it was like, these people don't know how long things take you to design. Right. So if I'm exchanging my time for my money, it it's going to get lost anyway. Like no one, it, it's not going to be understood. You're not going to be understood. Just yeah. believe in, in your work and your design and what you're doing and equate the value to that versus the time, you know? Mm-hmm. And so I, I kind of shifted into this mindset in a really big way where it wasn't about, you know, I wasn't charging by the hour I was charging, I I shifted into this mindset of charging by like the energy. So like the energy that projects would take me, like how, how lit up and excited I was to work on them. Right. How much I knew about all the details of what I'd be working on and how much I'd have to dig for and like spend a bunch of extra time and get resentful. Right. So I, I started kind of figuring out this new approach and this new formula where, um, I could finally make it make sense for me to where like, no, I'm going to have some boundaries and I'm going to, I'm going to charge what I know I'm worth and what the value is. Um, and yeah, so sorry, that's a big tangent, but, um, Mm -hmm. it was a big shift that I really needed to, to explore and have, and I'm still kind of like absorbing and sinking into it, but I'm really excited for kind of how I'm, I'm creating this new wave of my business to where um, I think it makes everyone happy. And I think that it'll feel so much better to talk about Mm -hmm. so much more natural, so much more aligned. I'll be more lit up. You know, my, my potential clients will be more lit up and it'll just, it'll, it'll be what I've been looking for in the past like 15 years of my life. So I'm super grateful and excited for that. Yes. Oh, I remember when you were like, oh, this shift has happened. <laughs> it has happened. I like, I did it. Kelly, I figured it out. <laughs> that was amazing. And it was all because of that subconscious rule, that rule of yeah. trading time for money. Right. And that was just like backing you and your business for so long. And I remember it felt like you felt like capped and boxed in where then you couldn't run and lead your business your way and where you couldn't create offers your way. You were like doing it the old way. Right. And I feel like once you uncovered that rule and we processed it and then removed it, it was like this huge, huge shift for you. And now you're embracing your own way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And I, I think it was, I mean, like I shared so many lessons, just so many like limiting beliefs debunked in the process, right? Like just so much, so much goodness. Um, but a big one that 
I, I kind of had to learn and I, I think other people can relate is like when you don't fully feel on board or aligned with your pricing, like anyone watching your, your Instagram stories, is it going to either, you know, like yep. they're, you're kind of like, you're, you're building and you're protecting this resistance that you don't even want to have to begin with. Um, but it's because, you know, either you're afraid to address that block or you, you don't believe that you can even fix it because you've tried so many other things. Like there's more, there's more there. And I love that you, you guide us and you help us to uncover that more because I definitely needed that 15 years of me needed that real bad. So I appreciate it. Yes. Logic limitation cap removed subconscious rule removed resistance removed. And I love that you said that because there's so many of us who are like, why are sales not working? Why is my business not working? And it's like, well, there's usually something going on underlying in your neural pathways that are causing this external reality and cycle that we get to break. So I love that. Oh, yeah. And then you were able to create a new aligned offering. I sure was. I sure was. And uh, yeah, and I love it. It's like the what what oh this is a whole nother level of you know the program and and everything that I uncovered but I I was able to finally like through beating this money block and like having these shifts and you know all this new awareness and everything I was finally able to really lean into um embracing and embodying and creating more from a place of like what I want to offer and not just what other people want from me or what I think they want from me or any of that. Right. And, mm -hmm. um, and that really fused with this, like, you know, uncapped money, you know, money approach. I was like, okay, so I'm going to create this and structure it the way I want to go th bring people through this journey because it's, it's fun. It lights me up. It always delivers incredible results. Um, you know, it's a blend of everything I do. And so I created that and then I got to, to pricing and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna, that's what it is. I'm good with that, you know? And it felt so good to, you know, not only have that new um, outlook on, on pricing, but also my, like, I almost have like a new relationship with my value and my worth and like how I see myself. Um, so yeah, that that's cool. everything. That's so cool. Yeah. That's literally everything. Oh, I love that. Okay. So because you have done other methods, other techniques, you implemented other strategies, what would you say inside this program was like the most surprising thing for you? that maybe you didn't think that you know you needed? Mm, yeah, I mean, oh, I think the, the Q&A calls, of course, like I could not say enough goodness about those. Um, that definitely surprised me because, you know, I've, I've been on group coaching calls like that. And um, usually it's like a lot of like, teaching moments for the coach and then like you know a little bit of open q a um or like you know no one's really asking the deeper questions it's all more surface level like you said mm -hmm. and i feel like you just opening up this space like right at the start and checking in on everyone and really you know providing the atmosphere where um everyone felt safe and comfortable and like they could share and explore. I think that that surprised me because I hadn't been in many containers where that was the reality. So that was definitely cool. Um, another thing that surprised me was the effectiveness of um, you offering so many different like levels of learning and shifting and integration like through this program and that you have 
the Q and A like live calls. You have um, the modules for for learning and teaching and absorbing. You have the uh, tutorials of the tools, um, but you also have the you know the extras that I. I think honestly, like make everything work together, together perfectly, like the hypnosis and um, the uh, just all of the, the visualizations and meditations, like all that kind of stuff. Like there was truly something for everyone's like learning style in there. And I think for the people like me that are like super dedicated to, you know, breaking these blocks and things like that. I wanted to make sure I had the fullest experience in this like really deep kind of sensory experience where I was kind of like <laughs> hitting my subconscious from all the different like ways. And um, I think that really helped to reinforce everything that I was learning, everything that I was kind of like shifting through um, was having, you know, not just the modules with the learning, not just the tools but the live calls and all of the extra like audios and things like that. It's really, really awesome. Oh, I love that. Thank you. That's so beautiful. Oh, and before we hopped on this call, I just dropped in a bonus module of uncovering your unique money code. So surprise that's in there. (laughs) Yeah. I I I get to share with everyone today. Um, okay. So tell me who you would recommend this program to. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So I would recommend this program to anyone that's already tried all the the courses and the worksheets and the, you know, freebie this, or, you know, even if you've worked with another coach to some degree and you've kind of like scratched the surface and some of the things that, you know, are really like, deeply ingrained um that are gonna take take some work to pull out take some like dedication to pull out um I would definitely recommend this for anyone like that that's like tried all of the the frou-frou all of the woo-woo all of the again surface level techniques and um even even programs um I feel like like I said because of everything that blends together and works together within this container um it really helps you get those I don't know I almost want to say like rapid results because it's true it's like you're undoing years and years and decades and decades of all this conditioning in you know just a a few months and I think that uh that definitely doesn't happen everywhere so I would recommend this to someone who's tried the things and knows that they need something deeper and they're ready to really, really do it. God, I love that so much. It's beautiful. Thank you. And tell us where we can find you and work with you now that you have shifted your business and identity and you just know who the fuck you are because your work is magically potent. Thank you. Yes. So I am Tessa. I am the Align Designer on Instagram. Um, I have, you know, some great offers right now. I have a really low ticket membership that's super fun for anyone that's working on. Yeah, you love it. Love it. Um, Anyone that's looking to have kind of um, have more more of a hold on their their brand and they want a little help in terms of like templates and um you know short ebooks and worksheets and things you know all from from me from someone that's gone through it and been in this world for again decades um so that's really fun also my new offer that um kelly spoke so highly of um the agency effect it's a super quick under two week uh container where um i tackle for you kind of reining in all of your brand ideas and creating some beautiful design projects from it. So that's really fun and um, really quick. So for anyone that's kind of like planning a launch or whatever you might do, that would be fun. And then my three month um, coaching container so that I can really, like I kind of touched on, provide like the fullest journey and experience to where 
um, you can kind of like I found through <laughs> through Kelly's program, kind of go deeper and really explore and build your your brand and also your business to um, really exude you know who you are, what you're here to do, and how you're going to do it differently. So that'll be really fun. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Having gone through the agency effect and in the membership, this girl knows her shit. She sees you. Thank she you. sees your soul. She sees your aura. She sees your brand that you can't even see and just brings it into beautiful aligned art. So yes, I will put that info in the show notes. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your experience with us. This was so beautiful. Thank you. Anytime. Like I said, I, I loved, I loved this program and I can't say enough good things about it. So I just hope that all the people that it's meant for, you know, that you'll jump in because it's worth it. Oh, Yes. Thank you, my love. Mm, that was so much freaking fun. If you love this episode as much as I did, please take a screenshot and tag me on Instagram at the underscore badass babe so I can share and celebrate you. And I have a special gratitude gift for you. If you're feeling called, please give us a five-star rating and write your review on Apple Podcasts. Take a screenshot, submit it. Let me know and I'll send you instant access to my fuck yes money hypnosis as a thank you. And I'll see you in the next episode.